Okay, this was a problem we did about driving. And we started in Bellingham, and we were driving south at 60 miles an hour. And we were told that the speed is decreasing, the velocity is getting smaller by 10 miles per hour. each hour. So the first thing we want to do um, is define a coordinate system. So let's choose 0 to be Bellingham and let's choose south to be positive. That means our velocity, something that has a, a number, units, and a direction associated with it, is 60 miles per hour south or 60 miles per hour in the positive direction with the choice that we've made. So by telling us that the speed is decreasing by 10 miles an hour, what we mean is that the change in the velocity over the change in some time interval is equal to negative 10 miles per hour per hour or 10 miles per hour squared. So if you want to know what the velocity is, say after four hours, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. After four hours, we would say that V final minus V initial over four hours is equal to that negative 10 miles per hour square. Okay. And that means that V final is equal to, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. Times 4 hours. And I'm going to add the f initial speed, which is 60 miles per hour. I'll put an I here for miles. Okay. And that's what we have. So 60 miles per hour minus 40. The hours cancel. And 10 times 4 is 40. Miles per hour is equal to positive 20 miles per hour. And that's the answer. But then the question went on and said, what about after eight hours? So this was after four. But what about after eight hours? You know, one thing we can do is we can just do the same kind of analysis and see what the math tells us. So then V final after eight hours V final is 60 miles per hour minus 10 miles per hour squared times 8 hours. Whoops, 8 hours, there we go, 8 hours. One of the hours cancels, and we're left with 60 miles per hour minus 80 miles per hour, which is negative 20 miles per hour. So what's happening here actually is that after eight hours, it's heading in the opposite direction. So it was heading 20 miles an hour south after four, but if your velocity keeps changing in the same way, the same change in velocity, That's what would happen. Now, of course, your car doesn't really do that unless you put it into reverse and then start, you know, driving. But maybe a different way to show this is in a graph. And so we have a graph, say, of velocity as a function of time. And we started at positive 60 miles per hour. And each hour, we lost 10. 
until at eight hours, our speed is negative 20 miles per hour. So this change in velocity, this change in velocity, this is called acceleration. This is called an acceleration. So going forward, when we see things like this, we'll call it an acceleration. And so the acceleration here was negative 10 miles per hour squared. Stay tuned. We're going to do a lot more with this in the coming weeks.